I know. Oh, that's so great. It's funny. Susan. Yeah. Hold on just a second for me, please. Yeah. They did it again. What? They did it again? Oh, come on. I'm just queen. Alright, but you know what? That's why I am my own maid. Welcome to our YouTube channel. <laughs> Okay guys, so let's go over our ingredients for tonight's video. So we're making the Italian meatballs. So I have some ground mild Italian sausage. This is one pound. I have one pound of ground beef. I have a six ounce bag of shredded Parmesan cheese. About half of it is left. We have two eggs. I'm going to use about one tablespoon of garlic powder a half a teaspoon of white pepper, one tablespoon of the Italian seasoning. You all see that Italian seasoning? Um, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and about one tablespoon of the beef bouillon. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my measurements out and start putting the meat in the bowl and I'll come back and show you when I start mixing it. Okay guys. Here we have a nice view of the bowl. I just put the meat inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my eggs. I've already whipped those up. Just gonna add those in. I blended my spices. I'm gonna add those in. Got my Worcestershire sauce. Woo! Got a little extra in there, and that's all right. Still give it good flavor. I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of that. All right, and finally, we're going to add some Parmesan cheese. I did not add breadcrumbs because I do have a problem with gluten, so I will make gluten for my family, but for myself, it's kind of hard. Now here's the secret. If you don't want your hands to stick afterwards when you're mixing this together, we we'll start with clean hands, but give yourself a little spray, okay? So I'm just gonna get in there with my hands, and I'm gonna mix this together, hopefully really, really well, right? Okay, so I have my meatball mix all done up, and I just take a spoon and pull some off and then I roll it. But I'm gonna go ahead and drop one in the skillet over here, and I will show you. But the reason why is because before I start making all these meatballs, I wanna make sure that that meatball has good flavor. So if I take a little bit out and I go ahead and cook it right now, then I will know if I need to add any more seasonings. Okay, so you can see the meatball is inside of the skillet. And I'm just gonna let it start for me. My tongue's here, so I'm just gonna let it cook gently. Start cooking it on each side. So I'm gonna let that meatball cook down and uh, I'll come back and show you what it looks like and we'll cut into it and see if it has enough flavor. Okay. So, I cooked my meatball and I broke it apart so it would cool faster so I could give it a try. So let me grab a couple of nice bites. Hmm. Hmm. It's pretty good. Hmm. I like it. is good, so I'm gonna to continue to roll these meatballs and I'll show you what happens after that. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead at this point and add in some Italian style breadcrumbs because while I try to do gluten-free, my family is not gluten-free, so. I'm just going to go ahead and throw in about a half a cup of these into my meatball mixture and go ahead and give that a stir. Taking out some 
of the meat for myself to make my own little personal meatballs and um, I'll cook those but let me show you what this looks like after adding breadcrumbs all right guys so I've added in my breadcrumbs and now we're going to add in mustard you need a meat mixture all right okay now i do have a question for you so if you've ever watched my videos before i normally don't have background music on but i decided to put it on this video so if you've watched my videos before or if you just like the background music do you prefer sound in the background or no sound leave me a comment below all right so let's do a few meatballs here just gonna grab some so my hands are already messy all right remember the pam spray guys okay so I'm gonna go ahead and make these you can make them as big or as small as you want I would probably go for the smaller ends because they um, will cook faster okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and see just rolling together you can see the Parmesan cheese and things in there so you kind of want it about the size of a little golf ball I think works best so I'm gonna go ahead and continue rolling these and then I'm gonna pop them in my refrigerator for about 15 or 20 minutes, actually my freezer, so they can get a little bit of chill on them, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cook them. Okay guys, so it's almost time to cook the meatballs, so I'm gonna put some sauce in. So for my ingredients for that, I'm gonna use some tomato bouillon with chicken flavor. I'm gonna use some garlic powder. I'm gonna use some oregano leaves, some tomato sauce, and a packet of red pepper. So I've already got some olive oil boiling, not boiling, but heating up here, and I'm gonna throw in the red pepper first. And then while that's getting fragrant, and the pepper cooks down a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out my other ingredients. Hey guys, so I've measured out about a tablespoon of garlic and about a tablespoon of oregano. And I'm just gonna pop this in with the olive oil. Then after that, I'll be putting in a tomato sauce and add some chicken bouillon. Okay guys, so if you can see inside here, I have some olive oil and I put the spices in. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in my cans of tomato sauce. These are 15 ounce cans. Use whatever brand you like. Alright, so we're going to put seasonings in. So it's going to taste good anyways. So I'm just going to let this hang out for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and add about one tablespoon of this Noor tomato bouillon with chicken flavor and add that in. All right. And we're going to let that blend up and cook and simmer in the background. And in the meantime, I'm going to use this skillet. And we are gonna get started on the meatballs. All right guys, so I have sprayed my pan with cooking spray, got some olive oil heating here. And I'm just gonna take my meatballs and start cooking them in the skillet. Remember I had them in the freezer for about 30 minutes. There we go just to get a little chill on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these started. I don't wanna overload it too much. I'm gonna put about half of my meatballs in there. And then I'll put the other half in. You see my Pasta sauce is cooking in the back. I have noodles cooking over here. All right. 
and pretty soon we're gonna have dinner. Okay everyone, so I'm browning the meatballs. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of water. Toss them. Ooh, got a nice sizzle on there. So I added about a cup of water. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of beef bouillon to that. Okay, so I added a little bit of water, about a cup of water. And I'm going to add a little beef bouillon to that. <clears throat> it's about a tablespoon or so of beef bouillon. I'm going to move these meatballs around so they can get the beef bouillon off of it. That'll create a little broth to finish cooking these in. And I'll also soften up some of these edges here. Okay, so I'm just going to add a foil cover to the top of my pan. And I'm gonna let these hang out for about 15 minutes. My sauce in the back. I did wind up adding about two tablespoons of sugar and one tablespoon of Worcestershire because the tomatoes were a little bit bitter. But we will be back in about 15 minutes. Okay guys, so the meatballs are done. They've been simmering in the beef broth for a bit. And the spaghetti sauce is done. And the noodles are done. So, I'm just going to get the water drained and the meatballs out of the uh, pan here and I'll come back and show you a plated dinner version. Okay guys, this is our plated version. I have the noodles, the sauce, some parmesan cheese, a couple of meatballs and a little sprinkle of oregano. Please like this video and subscribe and please check back for more content because I have a lot of videos and also please head over to my Instagram page also at I am my own maid. See you in the next video.